Good morning, friend. How are you today? It's Monday morning again. I couldn't be happier to be with you. I am Melissa Ebkin. I'm the pastor of the Christian churches in Iliopolis in Nyanic, Illinois. I love my two churches. I'm also the host of the Pursuing Uncomfortable podcast, where we share stories of people who have overcome difficult and uncomfortable situations so they can inspire others to do the same. And I'm also the founder of Light Life and Love Ministries. And this is an outreach effort to help those who are spiritual but not religious or those who want to work on their faith, belong already, already belong to a church or who are looking for that faith community. So today I want to get personal. Today I want to talk about prayer. Not about just praying, not about setting time to, aside time to pray, although do that. But I want to talk about praying with other people. For some people, this comes very naturally. Don't think a thing about it. If a friend is in distress, you just start praying with them. And that's great. Others, many others, have a lot of anxiety about praying with their friends in the moment. And I encourage you to do this. It can be a huge difference maker, both for the friend that you're praying for and for yourself. When you become a person that prays with and for others, it really enhances your prayer life, your spiritual life as well. And here's the thing. Get over yourself and do it. I can't put it pastorally because I want to make the point. Just get over yourself. Get over your anxiety. Get over whatever comes to mind of why you shouldn't do it. Just do it. Just do it. You're not going to pick the wrong words. And if you do, who cares? I mean, has anybody ever prayed for you before? I hope so. I hope somebody has prayed with you before. If not, reach out. I'll come over and pray for you right now. Um, but people have prayed for you, I'm guessing. Do you remember what they said? Probably not. Have you ever had someone pray with you and then thought later, boy, they're terrible at this. That they stuttered and no, we don't think that. We or on the other side, have you ever thought, wow, that was really eloquent? No. We don't remember those things. We don't remember the words they used. All we remember is they prayed for us and it made a difference. In that moment it made a difference. Beyond that moment it made a difference. Be a person that prays for others and don't worry about what to say. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's eloquent. It doesn't matter if you stumble all the way through it. It doesn't matter. Just do it. You want a couple tips? I can share a couple tips with you. One, call God something. Start out your prayer, dear God. A lot of people use Father. If you like the mother imagery of God from the Bible, start out with Mother. Uh, just figure out, call God something. Hi, God. Yo, God. Hey, God. Heavenly God. Whatever. Just call God something. And then just start talking about what you feel. And there are times when someone has been in great distress. And I usually ask people what they would like me to pray for. Because I think, you know, people get to pick what they want to pray for. If somebody's going to pray for me... You know, pray for the thing that's really on my mind. Let me tell you what that is. Me articulating it to you does something for me and for you. It helps you out and it helps me to put words to it. So ask them what they would like to pray for. And if they're just overwhelmed and have no clue, just start talking about how much the situation stinks. I find that the most authentic prayers are the best. If you want some examples of some really authentic prayers... Open this book up. Open up your Bible to the Psalms. There are 150 examples of people just saying, this stinks. And sometimes that's how I pray with people. I say, God, this really stinks. We're a little mad. Uh, and we're mad at you. We feel like you dropped the ball a little bit. We know that you know more than we do. There's a bigger picture we can't see. But right now in this moment... It feels terrible, and we're angry, and we can't see any light, and we're disappointed. We want you to fix this. 
we don't know if you can or will or if that's your plan, but that's what we want. And right now we just need help. I mean, just start using those words of where you are. Be genuine. Be authentic. And if that's not your style, then just find what your style is. Just call God something and start praying. Sometimes the words come. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes just saying, dear God, and holding the other person closely and, and sharing whatever emotions are real in that moment. Maybe that's the most profound prayer. Let the Spirit pray for you with its sighs that are too deep for human words. But pray with your friends. Be the person that does that. And if you want some practice, see me out and about, offer to pray for me. Um, a lot of people won't do that because I'm a pastor and they feel intimidated by that. I don't know if that's the right word or not, but let me tell you, I need the prayers. I need the prayers. I welcome every single one. If you have any inclination at all that you might want to pray with me, I will drop everything and grab your hands and hold on tight and welcome it. So let's do it. Just pray with people. Pray with your friends. Do it in the moment. Do it before you think about it. Don't overthink it. Just do it. And at the end, say amen. That's what I have for you today. This is a short little talk, but it's a powerful one. And I hope you start doing it. And I challenge you this week, find someone, find one person or more, but find at least one person. Pray with them to start. Who knows? Maybe you're going to be good at it. Maybe it's something that you love to do. Maybe it's something that brings you so much closer to God. But just do it. Try it. Let me know how it goes. Bye for now, friends.